Hi everyone and welcome to this time-lapsed version of Lovely Freya, my recent dog commission. And this is just a speedy version, but if you'd like to see longer tutorials from this, check out my Patreon channel. I'll add links below in the description. I'll be making tutorials from this piece very soon. But if you're new to me here on YouTube, please do subscribe for lots more future content and enjoy the video. So I make a start on this giant face. This is 16 by 12 inches big, which makes it rather large when it's so closely cropped in around the face. Quite an unusual crop this, but I really thought it was so effective. And for someone who likes painting fur, it was such a lovely challenge to work on. So I begin with my darkest values, just using my unison black to block in filling in some of those deeper browns. But then I come in with a Faber-Castell black stick, one of the harder sticks. And that's what I get my really, really dark jet black with. On a piece this size, it's many, many layers built up gradually. It takes quite a lot of patience, but I often find that time flies when I'm painting fur. And with a face so gorgeous like this, it wasn't hard to spend a lot of time looking at it. But I stick with those darker colours for the first part of the process. Before coming in with highlights, I need to make sure I have enough depth on the paper to create that nice contrast. And this is pastel matte paper that I'm using. I've started really liking this paper, especially for the very detailed portraits like this. I often use Hannibal Velour, and I love that for backgrounds and a more painterly, looser style, even though I can still achieve really fine detail on it too. But for a big face like this, you can get so much detail on pastel matte. But in this piece in particular, I was trying to experiment with being a bit more painterly, using a lot less pastel pencil to create the fine hairs, really relying on my pastel sticks. And unfortunately, I missed out on the progress of this eye. I had a bit of a camera malfunction during that. But the main focus of the tutorials to come from this will be about using colour to show light and shade from one side of the face to the other and how to build up all of those layers to create a really soft 3D effect. But you can see the difference from one side of the face to the other. One side very much in shadow and I actually tried to bring out a little bit more detail in the shadow side of the face by using Photoshop to augment my photo a little bit, try and pick out a bit more detail. But at the same time, trying to give that effect of the light and the shade. But as well as using lots of black throughout the coat, I've broken that up with a lot of other colors blues, greys with a lot of green in it, a very vibrant red or two, some greens, a lot of colours that you might not expect to see in a dog's fur. But I love using the soft pastel sticks because they give you such vibrance of colour and there's such a rainbow of colour out there to choose from. So I really tried not to get too fiddly with pastel pencil. You can see that I come in to do some minor tweaks, but the majority of those marks are made with the bigger sticks, just layering it up. Pastel mat accepts a lot of layers of pastel. And as always, I'm working from the top of the piece downwards. 
it always gives my hands somewhere to rest where I'm not smudging the work that I've already done. So I work towards the bottom half of the piece now. And I know that this muzzle that is completely in focus as it's really coming out of the picture towards us, I know that I'm going to spend a long time building up all of those short hairs. But like with the longer hair on the forehead, gradually building up the layers from dark to light, using the direction of the marks to describe the shape and the form of the dog. And these are all techniques that I talk about over on my Patreon channel. When you subscribe to me there, you get access to my full back catalogue with all sorts of different subject matters. And in my tutorials, you get to see this kind of footage, but in real time, so not speeded up. And you get to see every detail, and I describe my use of colour. I tell you what colours I use so that you can substitute for something that you have. Or if you're just starting to build your collection of pastels, it gives you a good idea of what colours might be useful, as that's always a very daunting thing when you're just starting out in a medium. And each month there, I release a brand new tutorial. Although recently I've been making two or three tutorials per month. Next month we're focusing on flowers. I often have to paint bigger portraits with complicated backgrounds. I also paint landscapes and people portraits. And quite often, although I'm not a still life painter, some flowers do get into the composition and I really enjoy painting them. So this month we're covering all sorts of different flowers, wild flowers, garden potted flowers. And I'm also trying out some different pastel papers that I haven't used before. But I've really grown to love pastel mat. I could always see its potential, but I haven't really delved deep enough into it before now to get a real feel for it. And as I said, I really tried to find a more painterly way to describe some of the fur, so not going into minute detail, even though it looks quite detailed from a distance. You can see as I'm doing it close up that my marks are still quite loose. And with this type of fur, I'm trying to make marks with a little bit of a shake or a waver in my hand. But it was a big piece to work on, that's a lot of fur. I think I spent about 20 hours or so on this in total. But I enjoyed every minute. So again, like with the face, trying to keep that shadow side more muted saving my brighter colours for the left side where the light is hitting. So thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed this. Please do subscribe here on YouTube if you haven't already. Always lots of free content here on my channel. But I'd also love to see you over on my Patreon channel if you'd like to learn lots of my techniques and really progress on your parcel journey. Thanks for watching.